Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Europa's Universalis 4 Rights of Man. Oh, that's a tongue twister. I am the Game Blot. We're playing Ferrara. Let's continue. Uh, so, our war in the last episode, uh, we joined with Provence and Aragon against Burgundy and Brittany and a couple others. Uh, Burgundy then died horribly, and Austria inherited all of his land. We are thinking about now gaining an alliance with France uh, to use against Austria. If, in at any case, we try um, and declare war on the Papal State so we can get some more land. Make ourselves a little bit more powerful. We're not going to build any more people in our army. In fact, we are going to drop our army maintenance considerably. Let's maintain the diplomat. Dump the fort. Well, not dump, dump, but yeah, whatever. And let us get... Alright, so they've embraced the Renaissance. We're getting closer and closer and closer. Not close enough. Oh, we can't even embrace it yet. It would currently cost us 31 ducats to embrace it. Uh, everyone around us obviously is. So it is providing some rather nice bonuses. We get 0.08 from being Italian. Let's pause the game while this happens. Mantua has embraced. We are now well behind everyone. Including on military tech, which is a little, little irritating. Hmm. Nearby friendly province. Ah, because these aren't friendly, they're not getting the bonuses that he's getting. Uh, who are you allied with? Genoa, Baden, and Alsace. Can we actually declare war on you? This might provide some... Um, Interesting things for expansion. Oh, okay, you're in a trade league, and Milan would actually join on your side rather than anything else. Why? Because it's a defensive war, and their Diplo rep is actually better than mine. Wow. Pope hates everyone. Let's continue to make nice with Milan, actually. Because <clears throat> that could be beneficial to us. In fact, it's probably better off that we actually have the Papal State as an ally rather than a rival. I wonder if we can change our rivals. Nope. Wrong button. Very roundabout way of making it happen. Uh, no. Because the other ones we're all allied with. Not anymore, apparently. As it seems, we're allied with Milan. Let's actually bring you home. We're still at four. Yes, we're still at four. We need to ditch Provence. Florence is actually going to be really helpful. We don't want to be over the limit. Hmm. The difficulties. We've been stuck like this for what? This is our third episode now of Take Two? We haven't expanded at all. Not even a little bit. Let's demand ourselves some military support. They're now disloyal just by a little bit. That'll tick back. That means our land maintenance does go up just a tad. Renaissance is happening very slowly. Sink some more into you. Our prestige is not ticking up yet. This, all in all, is actually going a little bit slower than the last one. Almost the entirety of Italy has embraced the Renaissance, but we have not. Hmm, I wonder how much of that's going to hurt. Uh, 
I guess we'll continue. Maybe we'll be, might build another bark, maybe. A little bit more trading come coming in, and we'll build ourselves up to our limit. Oh, wow, okay. Double the pop-ups. Uh, which one should we do first? Let's do this one. Religious institutions are considered sacrosanct and above the petty plots and schemes of countries and spies. That's why it's crucial to infiltrate them. Many secrets would never be spoken aloud are told in confidence to religious authorities, which the practice of confession has even turned into an institution. A, ch a church is one of the countries... A church in one of the countries we have focused our espionage efforts on efforts on has presented an unprecedented opportunity to exploit this one of our loyal agents posing as a nun in a loyal in a local convent has found she can overhear the confessions from confessionals while doing chores in the church while she is likely to escape detection the plan would outrage religious authorities if discovered is it worth taking a chance we'll take the diplo power thanks and this one obviously is really good rigorous researchers nice so we'll get four on all of that and we can now upgrade our admin tech as well um, we seem to generate a lot of administrative points very quickly. And in fact, okay, so we are focused on that. We can't change the focus till nine years from now. All right. Hmm. It's such a pity that our ruler sucks. It's a little irritating. Um... Let's go money. While we're focused on admin tech, we can probably knock out an administrative idea. We'll wait for the rest of our everything to catch up. We are making a goodly amount of dosh for now. Our fleet maintenance has gone up just a little bit. Building a fifth. Mantua has been building a spy network against us. I think we got kicked out of Laka. Alright, let's see what it would take to declare war against you. Everyone would defend you. Florence wants land. Hey. Bohemia would not, because we do, they don't owe us any favours. You're allied to the enemy, and war exhaustion is keeping you from joining us. Then we'd be Florence against Oldenburg, who... Yeah, and we're very low military tech as well, which doesn't help us in the slightest. And Lucker just announced us as a new rival. Maintain the diplomat. In fact, let's see if we can't change out our rivals. Ah. In eight years. Okay. We would like to rival them back and maybe gain... Mm, we want to expand into the Papal State, but we might start picking on the smaller guys just a little bit more. I have another boat. It's good. Hmm. And our prestige is going down and down and down. Lovely. Might as well build two more boats. You want Condottiare. Saxony. Um. You're in a war against Brandenburg. Would you take the whole thing? No, you would not. You wouldn't take it, even take a little bit of it. Okay. Never mind then. Ah, we can now embrace our institution. Yes, finally. Uh, nuts. Alright. We actually need this excommun excommunication thing to go away.
Florence and Provence are now... Okay, Siena would actually help them now. How many favors do you owe us? Eight. Well, we'll see about expanding our territory a little bit more in the next episode. We'll see you then.